What's up guys, it's KHL and today I have another video for you guys and today I have another Dragon Ball Z video for you guys. I'm sorry it's been a while since I've been able to do a Dragon Ball Z video. I just haven't been able to do as much videos overall so even the Kingdom Hearts video has been lacking. But this week I'm bringing it all back, 4 videos a week, 3 Kingdom Hearts videos and 1 Dragon Ball Z video. So this is my Dragon Ball Z video and this is actually my first Dragon Ball Z theory about Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. Which is basically the Super Saiyan with the blue hair if you don't know. And uh, this theory is just came in my head uh, through one thing that always happens. And this theory might not even happen, it's just that something came into my head. It could be totally stupid, I'm just mentioning it just because it's in my head in case it does happen. Remember, if you guys think it's stupid, uh, just leave it down in the comments. Uh, let me know why you think it's stupid and things like that. I really do think it's kind of unlikely too because they may not do this. But then again, it came into my head and I want to mention it. And to make it simpler in this video, I'm not going to be calling the Blue Hurt Super Saiyan Blue Hurt Super Saiyan or SSGSS or Super Saiyan God Super Saiyan. I'm just going to call it Super Saiyan God, what it should be called. I know that's what the Red Super Saiyan God is called, but in this video, whenever I say Super Saiyan God, I'm talking about the Super Saiyan with the blue hair. I'm just clearing that out right now. Okay, so basically what this theory is, is that Super Saiyan God is the one of many Super Saiyans that Goku is going to use in Dragon Ball Super. Now, what do I mean by that? So, if you guys know or if you don't know, Super Saiyan, the normal one with the golden hair, is known as SSJ. Uh, based on the Japanese uh, pronunciation, which is Super Saiyajin. So, it's SSJ. And whenever he goes to a form, a number is added. So, for Super Saiyan 1, it would be SSJ1. Super Saiyan 2, SSJ2. Super Saiyan 3, SSJ3. So, every time he goes to a form, it just goes up and up and his hair gets longer and he changes a bit, gets more powerful, and so on. Now, the way I got this theory is whenever people reacted to how Super Saiyan God looks like. So whenever I showed them the picture of how the blue haired God looks like, uh, they always kind of were disappointed with it. And personally, I love the look of it. Very simple. Amazing. I really don't like the long haired look of Super Saiyan 3, so I really like this. So whenever I showed them it, uh, they hated it kind of most of the time. And whenever I asked why, they said is that he doesn't look powerful. He looks just like Super Saiyan 1. And that's when the theory came into my head. So I, my theory is that Super Saiyan God is just one of many Super Saiyan Gods that Goku is going to get. So what I mean is Super Saiyan God, the one that we see right now with the blue hair, is actually SSG1. Then uh, onwards in the series, he's going to get more powerful and he's going to go above and beyond and become SSG2, which is Super Saiyan God 2. And as you know, based on the normal Super Saiyans, 2 doesn't look that much different from 1, it's just mainly a power boost, maybe just slight changes with the hair. But it basically looks like Super Saiyan 2, but with blue hair. And then he's going to go more above and beyond and hit SSG3, which is Super Saiyan God 3. But it's basically how the normal Super Saiyan looks like, but with blue hair. So, I feel like this may happen and it may uh, just uh, happen in Dragon Ball Super because of how similar it is. SSG1 would basically be what SSG1 is, except that the SSG is blue haired. SSG2 is what SSG2 is. And SSG3 is what SSG3 is. So basically what the normal Super Saiyans are, they're gonna repeat it with Super Saiyan God, but with blue hair. Now there's one thing that really keeps me from going after this theory is that it's gonna be a bit repetitive because we've seen w uh, what happened in Super Saiyan uh, with the original ones with golden hair and I feel like this would be kind of boring if they did do it again. Sure it would look badass, Super Saiyan 3 with blue hair, but it would be kind of repetitive. Like the second they mentioned Super Saiyan God 2, I think all of us would expect how Super Saiyan God 3 would look like. So what I actually want to happen is that this theory actually doesn't become true or that it does become true and that the look is totally changed so when Super Saiyan God 2 does happen if that does happen it doesn't look like how the Super Saiyan 2 looks like in the original forms it looks like completely different I really want them to go for different hairstyles something like Super Saiyan 4 even though that isn't canon anymore that was my favorite form and it looked the best from all of them in my opinion so I really want them to go more in that direction where Goku's look totally changes. The direction they're going in now where his hair does change his color and that it looks the same most of the time will get boring once he gets more of a power boost and if they just keep on going with the pattern of Sub Saiyan 2 and 3 and how that looks it's gonna get a bit boring so I feel like instead of making his hair simply just longer they should just change the design a bit just like how Sub Saiyan 4 was. Sub Saiyan 4 they completely redesigned his hair had it long from the back had these strands from the front and whatever it looked amazing and I really like that one the most. Maybe they could do something similar to Super Saiyan God 2 where the hair is completely different and when Super Saiyan God 3 comes the hair is completely different there. So that's basically my main theory. My main theory was just that uh, the Super Saiyan God we know now with the blue hair is actually Super Saiyan God 1 and in the future there's gonna be Super Saiyan God 2 and then there's gonna be Super Saiyan God 3. Whether it's gonna look like the old one or not I feel like this may happen and this is how it's gonna go on. It's not, it's like, I really don't think it's gonna go to like Super Saiyan Ultimate God or Super Saiyan Mega 
destructive god. I don't know what names are gonna come up with because god kind of seems like the most powerful thing they could come up with. I feel like they should have saved the name or the title of god till the end of the series, but they chose it at the starting of Dramo Super. And who knows, this may be the highest he ever goes. Maybe something god is the limit. And obviously he's gonna get more powerful and powerful, but it doesn't mean he's gonna get new Super Saiyans. But then again, I really think and I hope this theory does come through that there will be Super Saiyan God 2 and 3 and so on. And hopefully they change the looks and don't make it how Super Saiyan 2 and Super Saiyan 3 looks with the golden hair. So that's basically my theory and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave your opinion in the comments down below. Tell me if you guys think this theory will come through or if you guys think you have your own theories for Super Saiyan God and Dragon Ball Super. So if you guys enjoyed this video, remember to like, comment, subscribe. Remember the possibilities for Dragon Ball Z are unlimited. Later.